What up everyone? Today we're going to cover a pandas data manipulation question that is asked in data analysts, data scientists, and data engineering interview. This question asks, which creators publish a monetized video five minutes or longer, followed by a non-monetized video that was also five minutes or longer? And we have to output the email creator sorted in alphabetical order. And one thing we also need to account for is that any sort of intermediate calculation, we probably need to round it to the two decimal points. Now, we're given the following input tables here. We have the YouTube videos table, which has the following columns along with the data type. And then we have the YouTube users table, which also have the following columns along with the data types. And we need the following, which is the expected output where we have the email addresses that we're going to need. Now, this question, one thing we have to account for is that we need the email as the output and this video table does not contain the email. So after we have applied some kind of a filter where we filter instances where the user has published a monetized video with five minutes or longer, followed by a non-monetized video, once we are able to identify instances like that, then we would essentially need to map it to the user ID found in the user table so that we can extract the email address and output it and make sure that is valid. So why don't we go ahead and look at some sample tables here. So we can look at the YouTube videos as a star. And when I go ahead and run this, what I see as the output is the following. So as I mentioned, I have the channel, the user ID, category, video ID, video title, the duration in second, so this is going to be crucial for us because we this is how we're going to filter instances where the videos are five minutes or longer. And we also need the is monetized condition to identify conditions where it's monetized and non-monetized as reflected by the value of zero and one. And we're also going to need a publish ad because we also need to account for the sequence of the monetized video coming first followed by the non-monetized video coming later. And so we need to look for instances where a particular user has ever displayed this particular behavior. Now, when we take a look at the users table, what we're gonna see is the user ID along with the email address in this case. And these other columns to us don't really matter because that's not what the output we're gonna need in the case. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look at the YouTube videos because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the duration. So this is going to be the duration in sec and I'm going to divide it by 60 and I'll go ahead and assign this conversion in a new column called duration a minute. And I want to verify that this is actually going to run. So let me just run this. And what I can see is that this conversion actually works. Okay, so that's good. So that's the starting point. Now, the next thing that I need to think about is the filtering process itself. So I need an instance of the video posting where the monetized video is five minutes longer. And I also need another condition where the non-monetized video was also five minutes or longer. So I'm going to go ahead and create two sub data frames and I'm going to call them monetized and non-monetized. And what the monetized videos is going to be is, so I'm going to filter the YouTube videos and try to identify the following condition. So where YouTube videos, the duration in minute is greater or equal to that five minute block. And I also need a condition where the is monetized is true. or equals to one in this case. So let me just verify that I'm able to get the table that I need. So let's run this. And what I can see is that, okay, so this gives us the output that we need in this case. So we have the duration of minute, they're all greater or equal to five minute block, and then it's is monetized, they're all equal to one. Okay, so that's good. So the other table, that we're going to need is non-monetized video. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste this and I'm just going to call this non-monetized videos. And then I'm going to just flip this condition to zero. 
And let me just go ahead and take a look at the sample of this and make sure that we're able to get the output that we need. All right. So the duration of minute here is also five minutes or, or greater and all the values in the is monetized is zero. Okay. So once we have done this, the next thing we have to think about is how we're going to look for a particular condition where the monetized videos would come before the non monetized videos. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to merge them. So we're going to merge the monetized videos along with the non monetized videos. So I'm just going to do monetized videos, merge the non monetized videos, and I'm going to apply an inner join followed by a merge on the user ID. And I also need to apply suffixes because the problem is that monetized videos and non monetized videos have columns with the same name. And so if I don't apply suffixes preemptively, what I'm going to end up are video title with some suffix X or Y essentially defined by the pandas itself. And so I'm just going to make it easy for myself and I'm going to call it suffixes equals, and I'll call the first part as M O N as monetized. And then the latter one is non mon as in non monetized. All right. So once we have done the merge, the next thing that we want to do is we want to look for conditions where the non monetized video came after the monetized video. And in our merge DF table, in this case, we have the publish at column that we can apply as a way to look for that particular condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply publish at non mon. And this must be greater than merge df published at mon. And I'm going to reassign this back to the merge df. And what I'm going to do is I want to just take a look at the sample columns in this case. So I'll output the publish at non and non publish at mon. along with the user ID and then also the video ID and the video ID of Namon. All right, so when we take a look at the sample columns, so for this particular user, what we see is that non-monetized videos came after the monetized videos. We can also verify with this user being equal to one, and we can also confirm that to be the case. All right. So at this point, we have instances that we're looking for. And so we can now filter this further. So we can apply the user ID and get the unique users. Okay, so once we have the users that we need, the next thing that we also need to do is now we need to filter the users found in the YouTube users based on the user ID and extract their email addresses. So I'm going to apply YouTube users where the user ID is in the user ID of our list in this case. And we're going to need to extract the email. In addition to this, we also need to sort this in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to apply sort values. And then I'm going to output this to result. So let me just verify this before I submit it for evaluation. Okay. So I'm now I'm going to submit this and there you go. We passed the test. All right. So here's a demonstration of how you approach a pandas interview question. For more problems like this, make sure you check out datingview.com slash coding. And I'll see you in the next video.